Hello, Covetown friends. How you doing? Yes, Mama, I'm proud of you. Mama's asked me if I was proud of her for already being ready to go to church. Yes, Mama, you did good. I'm making deviled eggs for church. We're having a little, um, we call it CIA, Christians in Action. It's our adult group. Um, we try to set a time side time for kids always but sometimes you know you need to give the adults attention so we have christians in action we call it cia we have shirts or they all wear them i don't wear t-shirts but it's this kind of but they say i'm a member of the cia christians in action so we're just having a snacking tonight and there'll be probably 10 15 maybe 20 there so i've got uh deviled eggs here and i may make a few extra i don't know but i've got this tray full this is mama's original tupperware tray so in here i've just put egg salad dressing a little bit of dukes it matters that i use dukes because that's eggshells did i fill around yeah yes you did john because you're the only one in here Put the mustard up before I used it. How was that for smart? Not very. So this is just a little spicy brown. Uh, you can use, use Dijon or just plain yellow. It just gives it a little flavor. And I don't put a lot in there either way. Anyway, just enough to maybe get a little taste out of it. Pickle relish. I haven't even put it in there yet. Have I? Yeah, I guess I have. I started making this. We got a little bit of company, and I've come back to it. Put a little bit more, because I do see a little pickle relish in there. Anyway, this is what I'm doing. So, because we're snacking at church, I'm not going to be cooking tonight. And I wasn't going to cook anyway tonight, to be honest with y'all, because we got leftovers for leftover for leftovers. We've got uh, soup in there. We've got macaroni and cheese in there. we got all kinds of stuff going on in there. You don't want this to be too soupy. You want it to be so it'll stay on that egg. And I'm just picking these up. You know, I do it sometimes in a bag. It's a little hack. And sometimes I throw it in a bowl. It's kind of like my chopping. Sometimes I want to use a chopper. Sometimes I'll just do it by hand. There's no rhyme or reason to what I do. I just do whatever hits the moment. Mama can vouch for that, can't you? Mama? Uh, I said, you can vouch for me just doing whatever hits the moment. Yeah. She's in there trying her best to ignore me. And it, she's about to succeed. Aren't you, Mama? I can't hear you, but... Good. I said, you're in there trying to ignore me. And you're about to succeed, aren't you? I was trying to take a nap. For sure. Oh, you're nap. Mama's like, I'm trying to get a nap in. You gonna come in here, Mama? No. No? I'm just saying I've got she, She's not coming in there because it's... 53 degrees. We've been outside for a minute. And um, she's cold. It's cold outside, according to what it has been. So she's in here under her electric throw. All right. This is not the most exciting episode of Coffee Time, but it's a good one. Y'all want to see the deviled eggs of it? Probably somebody's been yelling at me. I can't see. Show us the eggs, John. Okay. These are not going to be what we normally fix. Eggs. Because they're going to be... These are... Okay, let's talk about eggs. Deviled eggs. Now, I know some of y'all are going to say, I don't call them devil. I call them angels. Call them whatever you want to. They've been deviled eggs my whole life. They don't have nothing to do with their man in the red suit. It just, this has been blended up. It's like deviled ham or any other something you blend up mixture and then restuff it. So that's the reason you have deviled eggs. 
But this is absolutely one of the best things in the food line of food that you can have as a deviled egg. And I'm not talking about your health. I'm talking about the convenience of and the use of a deviled egg. So deviled eggs are perfect for any meal, casual or Easter or Christmas. They're just a wonderful addition to any meal. But you don't have to be having a meal to have a good deviled egg. Because they're good just for what I'm doing right now. This is just a little appetizer or d'oeuvre kind of thing. I'm looking for one of my little spatulas. There it is. Um, it's absolutely perfect to take for a snack. This is what we call tonight finger foods and snack foods. Your favorite snack. A lot of people don't think about deviled eggs as a snack food, but they're actually perfect. They're full of protein. They really are liked by most everybody. Um, if you take a tray of deviled eggs somewhere, you are probably going to bring back an empty pan. And you can dress them up, dress them down. You can make them simple and plain. You can add anything you want to to them. And it's a little finger food. Um, they can just stroll through, grab an egg, and go. And that's what they want. That's what they want. They want a little finger food. Something that tastes good. And about everybody likes them. You'll find very few people that'll say, I just don't like a deviled egg. Now, there are probably 14 of you that's on here right now in a minute to tell me you don't care for them. But as a rule, when you're doing a, a group where you have a party, having deviled eggs is a wonderful appetizer or a snack food or a party food. And a lot of times what you can do with deviled eggs is you can satisfy the masses as far as I don't like hot. I don't like this. I'm allergic to nuts. I'm allergic to... Some people are allergic to eggs. But it's a good... I don't eat much, but I will eat a deviled egg kind of meal. So don't take that off your radar. Just remember, you heard it here first. Deviled eggs are a great little appetizer snack food it doesn't have to be served with the meal now I'm gonna look up a little paprika over here don't want to mix that up with red pepper in any way and I'm not going to use smoked paprika because some people don't like that smoky flavor Now, you can take this a step further if you want and put uh, red pepper or chili, but I would tell people. Some people put chili. I'm going to, I like to tap this down to the end and then open it up very gently, just like this. And then I just sprinkle it. So I don't get too much. Just tap it with your finger gently. I try not to get it all over the place. It doesn't like change the flavor a lot, but just like with potato salad and a lot of things, it just kind of makes it pretty. So on goes the paprika. Now you can stop right there and have a good presentation. There's nothing wrong with taking that right there somewhere. However, I'm going to go a step or two further. This is, this is real bacon. And I love it on there. Somebody said something about paprika. So I just put a little bit out my hand. Now this is where it's changing from the norm. Um, normally when I'm fixing these at home, I don't put bacon. 
but you want to make it a little something something with um, the fact that you're serving these as hors d'oeuvres and you can do all kinds of different things to them. Sometimes I will leave a few plain ones or something like that and say somebody might not want that or somebody might not want that and sometimes I won't. Sometimes you'll just have to dig it off if you don't like it. Um, that's just the way I'm fixing it and if you don't like that then you either skip it or whatever you think will be best. All right, let's get a little bit something else. Y'all can see all them leftovers in there. favorite cheese, the Mexican blend, but I don't see it. Okay, this is just pre-shredded cheese, but it's the fine. I don't think the big would work, but I'm putting a little, just enough to know what's on there cheese on each one. Just like that. Have you ever made these for a appetizer? Or for a finger food or a snack food? They're usually always well received. Depending on what time of year it is, you can also put a little green, like if you have some kale or something on the platter, and that really pips it up, or a couple of things of parsley. I don't have either kale or parsley. And see, that's all it gets. That's not much, but it's great. Now, let's clear this off. I'm going to put an olive on each one. Just tuck it in and I'm doing a whole olive. You can split them if you want. Mine's getting a whole olive tonight. They get the whole olive. Little decoration. They sure are pretty. My hands are terribly clean. I've washed them over and over. Washed them after I put the eggs in the pot. Washed them when I peeled the eggs. I've washed over and over. And I just washed them right before we started this video. Now, the only thing I would do differently tonight is I would put a little parsley or something if I had it, but I don't. Mama is feeling good today, and she's even brushed her hair today, but she is resting. We're going to go to church, so she says she's going to rest a while. And we, like I said, we've had company and she was just came in from being out there. All right, folks, there it is. That's hors d'oeuvres for tonight. And uh, quite frankly, that would have been, this is just as good as doing pickle rolls or any of those things I would normally take. Um, looks good. Hey, Lon, how are you? Thank you. Hello, Julie. Love deviled eggs, but hate olives. Carolyn, these aren't really juicy, juicy, so you could probably get by with taking that olive off and just eating the egg, and it wouldn't taste too olivey. Is olivey a word? I, I have 
that egg container and just doesn't hold enough. It, Denise, it, it's not a family platter. No, this old one is not. This will hold, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, twelve eggs. So you get six half or six eggs half. So you get no, this one's twelve, three, four, sixteen eggs, two eggs. So you do have sixteen halves. Hi from Southwest Iowa. Hey Pam, how are you? Hey uh, Lisa, somebody needs to be blocked. Okay, we'll check that out. Hey, how's Mama doing? Uh, she's doing good. Mama, say hi. Hello, everybody. Say she's fine. Hi, John and Mama from North Carolina. Hey, Rhonda, how are you? We are having homemade chicken wings and mac and cheese. I wish I had deviled eggs. Connie, whoop you up some right quick. You don't have to do all this to them. You can just do the, the standard deviled egg. Hi, John. Uh, much is, how much is the can opener? Um, it's on special. You'll have to look though. I don't want to quote a price. And another thing, when I quote prices on here, it's man when we watch this two weeks from now and they not be on sale and you say, well, John, I've seen you on there. That's happened so many times. I don't quote prices. I'll just say, see the post. Hello from Oklahoma. Hey, Cynthia. Hi from Springfield, Ohio. Hey, Kathy. Indiana here. Well, how are you? Uh, Shura? S-H-U-R-A? Did I get that wrong? Sorry if I did. Love from Hamilton, Ohio. Hey, Sylvia. I used to have family in Hamilton. I sent Mama a card. Did she get it yet? Vanessa, she probably did, but I'm going to tell you the truth. We were just talking about this. Um, I've not been to the post office. I got to get down the pub. Mama used to go through the week and she was on schedule and I only get the mail two or three times now and I'm going to have to start getting the mail here and it's right there. And I, you know, what am I thinking? But I've not been the poster, but I plan on trying to get down there tomorrow. Um, I'm sure we've got stuff down there and I've not got it. Uh, hello from Dimebox, Texas. Well, I've never heard of that, Patty. What a beautiful little name. Hello, have the same egg tray. I love olives and deviled eggs. Yummy. Vicky, this is an oldie but a goodie Tupperware. Mama's been in Tupperware for over 50 years. She's just become a consultant in the past five years and a director in the past three years. And she loves it. We've got Tupperware, Tupperware, Tupperware. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Hi from North Decatur, Alabama. Mama, Polly's from Decatur. That's where my mom's from, wasn't it? Polly, my mama, mama's mama is from Alabama, Decatur, Alabama. And her mama talked like y'all. <laughs> she had that definite Alabama talk. Uh, you know, we all think other people have accents, but we don't. I want to show you something else. This is, I love this. Now, some of y'all may even think it's nasty. I'm sorry if you do. Do you see that right there? This is Tootsie Davis, and that's masking tape, y'all. Masking tape. It ain't one of them fancy address labels. That's what folks used to do. You take a masking tape, you see this on everybody's tray at church, and um, that has been on there probably 30 plus years. It's been washed many times, and it was probably darker at one time. But I want to. I would just leave that on there because it says Tootsie Davis, and you know whose it is, and that used to be a, a way of tagging them. Let's go ahead and cover these up. Y'all can see them one last time. There they are, ready for display, ready for delivery, and snap it right on there. It's ready to go. I'll put that in the refrigerator in just a second. Um, but this is really a quick, easy, even for a weeknight supper. We make them sometime for supper. I mentioned one time to somebody at work, there's still some in here. I said, we had supper, we had, and I told them what we had, fried chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans, whatever it was. And I said, and deviled eggs. I said, deviled eggs? And I thought, you've never heard of deviled eggs? And they said, yeah, deviled eggs? 
for supper? And I said, when do you eat them? And she said, well, we don't ever have deviled eggs except Christmas and maybe Thanksgiving. Deviled eggs is like a holiday food. And I said, really? We've been having deviled eggs for years. And I said, we have them anytime we want them. I said, and a lot of times on Sunday lunch, we have some good old deviled eggs. And she said, I've never heard of anybody fixing deviled eggs. It wasn't some big occasion. And I said, they're easy. And she said, they're not easy. And I said, well, I think they're pretty easy. But she had never heard of having deviled eggs for a Tuesday night supper. But we do. And these are easy and they're fun. And like I said, most everybody likes a deviled egg. Most everybody does. Um, hello from Amora, Mississippi. Hey, Renee, how are you? I'm seeing a lot of Kofi Bernard. Block Kofi Bernard. Kofi, get on out there and leave them folks alone. I, I'm going to have to block you when I get a minute here. Just notice I have the same Tupperware devil that container. Barbara, I bet you these are worldwide. I don't know where all they were sold, but uh, this is Mama's original. Now, we've got some new ones, and we've got some bigger ones, and we've got them little trays to add and add and add, but I think this will be a good number. And uh, I think it'll be a, a good, easy fix. But uh, I could do several more. And I may I may devil up another one or two. just depends. But it's just a quick and easy. And I love using vintage Tupperware because it don't wear out. It don't wear out. This has been used. I'd like to know the number of... Uh, Mama couldn't tell you, uh, I'm sure. Because I I'd like to know the number of family occasions and church dinners... This little tray right here has made uh, its debut at. I'm sure it would stack high uh, in the numbers of places that has gone. And that used to be what we always had on Sunday. If we had devil eggs on Sunday, Mom always put them in this container. Hello from West Monroe, Louisiana. Hey, John Wilson. I love Louisiana. It's been several years since we've been there, but we loved it. We tried our best to eat everything you had down there. We tried our best to visit every restaurant that anyone said anything about. And it was all so good. Everything was so good. You can report and block. Yes, Judy. Y'all can do that. Y'all can uh, block them. Show me that tray. Patty, <laughs> here it is. It's the beige color, and it's got eight halves on each side. I can take it back off. I had it on there good, didn't I? It has eight halves on each side, so you get 16 halves, and it's just a good helping of eggs. And that's the deviled eggs. And those little things come out. It's a little wet on top. Of course, I had to wash it. I had to wash it before I could use it. Do y'all wash things when you get them out of the cabinet? Mama does. Everything gets a fresh wash. It gets washed going in. It gets washed coming out. Especially if you're taking it somewhere. You always wash your container. Ain't that right, Mama? Yeah, I think I'm disturbing her nap. Her chair is right behind me. Just around that knee wall there. Now, I didn't taste of this. I hope I did a good. I should have tasted it. I always taste before you go somewhere. Good thing it's good because I didn't got to make, but it's delicious. I don't take, I don't. I like olives, but they look good. Kendra, I love olives. I don't always put them on. But this has got bacon cheese, and it needed a little something green. So I thought olives would be the, the very thing. Have you ate deviled eggs for breakfast? Why, well, sure, Joan. I've eaten deviled eggs for anything. And, Mama, always... If we have any deviled eggs left, you stir it up and make egg salad and have sandwiches. 
I have that one plus one blue one. Yes, Deanna, we have the blue one and the pink one. And there might be another color out there. When you're the Tupperware lady, like Mama, you tend to have all of them, don't you? I too have the egg tray. It was my mom's, yes. When she took it to church, I've left it on. I can't read the rest of it. Sending prayers for Mama. Thank you so much, from Dora from Alabama. Uh, Carolyn, I did salt this just a little, not a lot. Um, I don't ever salt things I'm taking anywhere much, but because we're cutting back, I did put a little salt and a little black pepper here in it. Can I send you all samples? I can't see what you're saying. It won't let me see more. It says see more, but it don't let me see see more. Kendra, I don't know what you're talking about there. I like black olives on deviled eggs, and I do that too sometimes. Go to their homepage under About, and the address is there. Yes, our address is on there. Our address is also under every video that we post. And it'll say P.O. Box, and it's on there. So the address is on every post. Every time I put the links, it's one of the links. I'm Dan, Virginia, Milwaukee. Hey, Anna. Cheryl. Chris. Um, I love deviled eggs. Colleen, I do too. And like I was talking about deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are the perfect... Uh, if you can make a good deviled egg, it'll get you through a lot of hard times. It's a perfect side dish with almost any meal. You can have deviled eggs with roast. You can have deviled eggs with steak. You can have deviled eggs with pork. You can even have deviled eggs with fish. I don't know what deviled egg wouldn't go good with. You can serve them with a meal or as a meal. People will eat them. You can serve them as finger food or hors d'oeuvres. People will eat them. I use a can of deviled ham and chopped olives in my deviled eggs, John. Really? Alan, you may have just created some great deviled ham. That would have to be good. Alan, I'll try that. I would have tried it tonight if you'd have told me before, Alan. Um, love watching. Hey, Cheryl. Xbox on what that means. Have you all chased? That's all I got. I didn't see anything else. Hello from Alabama. Hey, Sheila. Love you guys and look forward to your videos. Well, thank you, Nicole. We appreciate that. We're just us. We don't do any planning. I sat down here tonight and Mama said, What are you make? I said, I'm going to do day with eggs for church. What do you think? She said, That sounds wonderful. And I said, uh, I'm on video. And she said, oh, yeah, that'll be good. I hadn't even thought about that. So we don't plan a big bunch of stuff. We just come on and share whatever we're doing. And we don't claim to be the most exciting show you'll watch or any of that. We just want to invite y'all in to our kitchen, have a seat at our table here, and just do whatever we're doing. Have a good time. We really like to treat you all just like we do guests. We just had a guest leave, and they sat here right there where y'all. And... We sat and talked and had, a, had some tea, and that was it. That was it. It was just a good time. Have you heard of salt substitute? No, new salt. I have, Robin. I'm going to try the new salt, because you're about the third or fourth person I've seen that on here. I've been using Morton's salt substitute, and it's uh, no sodium. It's sodium-free. And it's okay. It's okay. It's It'll get the substitution done. Uh, someone told me lemon was a good substitute. I'm anxious to try that on some meat. If I could eliminate salting meat altogether, it'd be great. And if I can just use a little lemon zest, maybe even a little lemon juice, someone said juice would work, then I would be glad to do that. You are blessed, George. Well, thank you, Betty. That's sweet of you to say. Love watching. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Patty. Hi from Tennessee. 
Good evening, Joellen. How are you? Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Folks, I am not kidding you. It is the 16th of October. I can't believe October's half over today. Over half. We're at the end of the year. It just started. Did 24 just start for you? I can't believe that we're already at the end of 24. We got two more months to go with the boat so quickly. But it seems to me like July, 4th of July hit, and the last half is always the fast half, I call it. But it seems like it was just a week ago, it was 4th of July. It really does. And this October has flown by. Here we are over halfway through October, and I'm just wanting to get it started good. You know, what I, I remember talking about this, but somebody was talking, just seems like last week, but it must have been September. So, is it too early to decorate for fall? And I said, no, oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. It ain't going to hurt a thing because fall will be over, and you'll be thinking about Christmas uh, in a minute. So just go ahead and decorate it. So you are going to church tonight. Yeah, Verna, we'll go to church tonight. Um, and we have a little, just a little social time. Uh, we'll probably do a scripture or something. And then we'll eat and fellowship and everybody gets together. Talks and chats. We kind of plan what we're going to do uh, for the holidays. What we're going to do with the kids. What activities we got going. It's just a good time of fellowship. And we always eat. You know, Baptists, if we're meeting, we're eating. And uh, it'll be a good time. So uh, it's just small. And we just live. The church is just right there. So we won't we won't be far. But yeah, church is family. Love watching your videos. Well, thank you, Shannon. We love having you here. We really do. Um, but I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to put these eggs up. Mama will eat eggs bulled if she gets to them. Uh, you know, if they're right there in a little container and she can grab one. Uh, so I try to keep some boiled all the time. We've done that for a while. And I like to grab them for a salad. They're awful good just to put on a salad. And it's just good. Eats right quick. But um, got this ready. Going to put that up. Put a few things up here. I got a few things here to wash. Somebody asked about this while ago. I thought I'd seen them. This is just... a I got off Amazon, and I like to cut my eggs with this. I used to use a serrated steak knife, but this is just a potato wedger. You know, they're everywhere. I don't even, this don't even have a brand. And it's just, you can tell it's not the high top quality. But it works. And it, it cuts potatoes into little wedges, and I use it uh, as much for deviled eggs as anything else. It just makes a good ripple on that egg white. And um, I know that's foolishness. Who cares? But it just makes it look a little different. And it just slices right in there. But uh, that's what that thing is. Love watching your videos. Hey, Shannon. Yeah. Christmas will be here before you know it. Ain't that the truth, Beverly? That is the truth. I like to squeeze lemon juice on cooked poultry. Oh, I do too. Fish and seafood. It adds good flavor. It does. Somebody was saying that I could use it for salt. You know, just give it that little bit of of salt flavor, which that'll be great. Be real good. So, we're going to say good night, and we're going to say y'all have a good night. You know, Mama says I can sit here all night and talk, and, and she ain't lying. It's the truth. But uh, we are going to get ready and go to church and enjoy a little fellowship time. It's Wednesday already. Uh, Thursday will be here tomorrow, and then boof, it's the weekend again. It's the weekend again. And uh, we want you all to have a blessed night. Get out and make you some memories. Find you something good to eat. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow night. Who knows? We might even cook something. We may have leftovers, too. Y'all have a blessed one. Bye-bye.